Okay guys, this is uh, another hotel review from Wooly Styles. I'm at the uh, Intercontinental St. Paul Riverfront. This is my escape plan, just in case I gotta get the hell out of here. I guess I'm the dot, yeah, that was my room number, 1822. So, uh, take you on a quick little tour of my little IHG room. St. Paul, Minneapolis area, this is in St. Paul. Minnesota. Okay, so I walk in. I got this crazy door. Don't know what it is. Keylock, Ba, Bang, Fitzgerald painting. Um, who cares? So I come in. They have a nice wood floor. I was impressed with that. A little bitty safe. Uh, this is one of the closets. Yada, yada, yada. Really nothing to see. This is where I put my jackets because it's cold as shit here. Uh, so uh, poor timing, but uh, a great time. Does that count? Uh, this is kind of like my little desk area, I guess, their little office. Oh, shit, get in focus, bro. This little office area, the, uh, the, uh, the crazy uh, boss waters, they're, like, amazing. And then there's that sexy motherfucker, which is also known as me. I hear people coming. Hopefully, he's not going to disrupt my video. Uh, this is, like, the little living room area. It's a little sleeper bed. I can pull it out if I want it. They got a full-on mirrored table. There was a little fridge here. It was kind of weird. This is the first time I've been in like a hotel that you have to order your mini bar stuff and then they bring it up and like charge a gratuity fee. Never really opened these, but they're just shelves. Uh, like I said, this is just a little um, living room area. Nice. This is like uh, the first part of my view. I got the uh, King Deluxe uh, Riverside view or something like that. So this is the Mississippi River. And guess where it goes? All the way down to Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, 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 about that. Luckily, it's not snowing. The first night I got here, there were like a few flurries, but nothing too, uh, too dramatic to where I couldn't drive. Uh, of course, there's a uh, nice two little single chairs, my Beats, bows. Uh, so you walk in, changes from the wood to the carpet. Carpet's not that bad. Uh, then there's a mirror, so I can check me out. I'm like, look at him, though. Look at him. What? <laughs> joking. All right, and then uh, this is the bathroom. Come in, they had like two little hangers. Put my little robe there. Uh, had a little, little toilet action. A little tile rack. Uh, crazy uh, decor. Feel like I'm in Vegas again, except the colors aren't as... Uh, Vibrant. Uh, they got your little makeup mirror to see things that are larger than life. Like me, I'm larger than life. And then, of course, the, the big mirror so you can see things. And I'm, I'm on my way out of here today, so just uh, give you a heads up. So everything's been put away, but they had their little amenities of lotions, um, whatever, conditioner, shampoo, of course, you know, my shampoo. Ooh, I'm really picky on the shampoo that I use. Oh shit, my head shiny. Uh, anyway, that's about it. Uh, and then there was just a little uh, under area where they stored the towels. Then had the little walk-in shower, nice ample space. It wasn't a rain head, but this one was still pretty, pretty decent. Uh, pretty decent stream of water to give me a semi-massaging bath, which was great. Um, well, then you come in to the living room. And yes, I haven't really cracked too many jokes on this one, so I need to get cracking. Like what the egg said to the other egg. What's cracking? <laughs> so this is just another one of the window views of the river. The river. Mm. I'm gonna sing me some Negro hymnals. <laughs> Shit. So as you see, there's not really a lot of traffic here. It's it's a Monday, bro, and like, man. I guess St. Paul is the sleepier of the two twin cities. Like Minneapolis is a little bit more uh, lively or populated or condensed. Or I don't know what you call it. But anyway, so here's uh, TV number two. And of course, I have my little Amazon hooked up to it. I've already uh, disconnected everything and put it in the uh, put it in in the cases where they belong. And this is my stuff right here, Noir de Noir. It's time for it. Very nice. Very nice scent. But as you can see here, this is like 
huge uh, window area. You know, it took up pretty much two sides of the room, of the bedroom is like all windows. So at night, I should have took some pictures, but at night it was pretty nice because everything was all lit up and it was like, wow, this is like, looks nice. But when you go outside, it was cold, so not so nice. <laughs> so you can just see kind of like the downtown St. Paul area and everything's a little wet. I hope it's not raining. Or I hope the streets are nicey. But anyway, bed's a little jacked right now. Uh, <laughs> I just finished packing, so got my little little kicks. My dirty clothes I gotta take back. I hate taking back dirty clothes from my little charging station. So there's like two little lamps. They got like the old school heating and air here. But at least they had two thermostats, one in this room and one in the living room. So, you know, basically that's it. You know, it's uh, ISG. I got nothing but good things to say. Uh, Miss Bria at the desk, she was one of the most helpful people that I've ever met. Uh, in IHG places, and I want to say her name was Shirley. I'm so so bad with names. Uh, it was Shirley at the concierge, and there was two of the waitresses that were like really good, uh, and they took care of me. So I, I want to thank them for that. So I'll get their names and then uh, shoot out some uh, recommendations uh, uh, for them and their service. And I really appreciate that because nothing. Nothing is uh, nothing makes a stay more pleasant than actually having someone that's taking care of you. No, I got a kind of a little cold, so uh, it's cold weather. It's like killing me because I'm not used to it. I'm uh, on my way back to San Diego. My flight leaves in about two hours, so I just had to pop in here because where I was staying before this wasn't uh, wasn't me. <laughs> Anywho, so I guess that's it, man, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Sorry I wasn't that funny. I guess, like, when it's cold, I lose part of my funny gene or something like that. I, I really have no idea. Yeah, I keep looking over. I'm like, am I in the camera? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's that's about it, man. Met some interesting people here. Uh, got a lot of things accomplished, so um, I feel good. Uh, but next time I come, it'll be, like, late spring, summertime. <laughs> I'm not doing this cold weather. And it's not even that cold yet, but it's cold for me. It's 30 degrees. I bought three jackets because I didn't know which one was going to be heavy enough, light enough. I bought layers of clothes, but uh, I think overall it was, it was good. I, I overpacked this time, but it was, it was well worth it. So anyway, that's the IHG St. Paul Riverfront Hotel Review. I'm Willie Styles, and I'm signing out. Thanks for watching. Or how does that go? Did I do it right? <laughs> I don't fucking know, bro. I don't know. So I'm out.